Yo, what's going down, Commanders? Hope everyone's doing well today. Basically, this all this video is is an update of an old video I done four years ago, and I just want to bring it back and, and give it some new life, and try to get the players or the new players, the returning players or players that just don't understand this, the understanding that they should need. And basically, what I'm going to go over is the Gen Two platforms, heavy and light platforms. Uh, basically, can be turned over to Gen Two. As it, as it stands so basically this is a gen 2 platform here as you can see bowhawk platform and, and to change these over basically what you got to do is you've got to go into your platforms and go to change platform then go to look for that advanced structure and then click go and that will give you the option of three turrets this one's a new one in the game i've never used it i don't know if it's any good i did hit a base with it the other day and i wasn't shocked by how great it was or anything like that so don't get jumping up and down but you can change you can have a, a floating an airborne or floating uh platform you can have an armored platform i believe the bowhawk is a heavily armored platform or you can have this one which is a clandestine platform which is good it's supposed to be good against air i believe if i remember right it's reduced damage from aircraft yes so this one would be a uh uh, very heavily this is the one i basically use right now i very rarely ever use the uh floater this is a new turret i've never used it before ever so basically that's the heavy turrets and you can do the same with the light turrets as well i, I think just call them turrets i think because that's what they kick i call them so you just go to change platform and again it's advanced stru structures and if you click the go it tells you how many you can have so i've got two more i can build and it does the same and that's the same in the heavy i think i've got one more of them i can build i don't know why i put my finger up with with one finger up to to say one when you can't even fucking see me but that's that's the way it works and again you've got three different types so you've got the plated platform is made of up of art uh articulating molly uh microscopic plates which are proactively aligned to minimize damage from income coming projectiles platform reduces all damage taken by 25 percent and then you've got this one the resistor platform adds a multi-layered the resi resistor platform adds multi-layered of protection nullifying en enemy chemicals and electrical attacks Pla platform is immune to all status effects and then you've got the floating the flying platform makes uh, vast improvements to the flying me mechanic no oh, fucking can't pronounce that used it used in the past enable more armor and stronger turrets to be used platform is an air target right and there's another thing you might have noticed here is the actual health of the, the platforms when i'm taking it over from gen 1 to gen 2 i just want to add this before i go any further once you moved it over to gen 2 you cannot take it back <coughs> so you can't go back to do it i guess you call it generation one you can only take it forward so bear that in mind when you do do it and you'll probably see the health is very low compared to the health here but don't despair once you get a few levels on these these uh, platforms especially this one as you can see it's got 320,000 against 1,761,897 uh, basically once you get some levels on it and i will show you with some of my higher level platforms uh change platform a level 13 has got 10,125,000 health I think I've got a couple of level 15 somewhere. Hang on, bear me with me. Uh, change platform. 18 million health for level 15. I've still got five levels to go on that, guys. So remember that. Don't don't think that your one's going to be better over the other. You're not better keeping the gem ones. You're better doing moving over to gen twos. And what you want to do if you've got the time is is actually spend time on one platform at a time and just get them as high as you possibly can before you move on to the next. This is especially the one on your CC. This one, I really desperately need to get some more levels on it to give that CC a little bit more uh, health. Right. Now, upgrading the platforms, what you do need, so when you upgrade platform, the advanced material, which is the blue base with the same... Hang on, let me see if I can get the picture so you can see. Bear with me. It's the advanced materials base on the world map. You need to get that... And I'll show you if I can find it. I should have had this up before the video, but I didn't think it through. If I can find it, it's got a picture of that. 
but it'd be a, a base on the map. That that'd be the picture you, that you need to collect to get get the uh, advanced materials to be able to take this to the next level. As you can see, it's, it's seventeen thousand. You can only hold fifty thousand advanced materials at any one time. So yeah, be careful. Don't forget you can buy the advanced materials in the monthly main event, which we, which is normally the first event of every month. But I think next month it's the second event after um skirmish or yeah skirmish. So yeah, you need the blue blue goo to be able to upgrade these platforms. Uh, there is turrets, special turrets that you can only put on Gen Two, which will be if I change no wrong button. Basically, the heavy Gen 2 has got two turrets you can only put on a Gen 2 heavy, which is the Kronos and the LiDAR. All the rest you can put on any any other turret. And I think this is the question a lot of people are asking. You need to change them over to Gen 2. So basically, you go change, change platform or upgrade platform, and you've got the advanced structure at the bottom. You click swap and you swap it over to a Gen 2. So let me go to one that isn't a Gen 2. So upgrade platform and then advanced structure and you click swap and it, it'll give you the choice of three to swap over. It tells you how long it takes to swap them over. 15 hours, 36 minutes, which isn't too bad under a day. And then you can place, if I show you the turrets you can put on a normal heavy turret, so I can put the Geo, Overwatch, Rail Launcher, Heavy Flak and Hunter Missile. But if if you look at the Gen 2, change turret, I've got now two more turrets I can place on there. I've got the Kronos and LiDAR that you can place on a Gen 2 turret. So remember that. I'm trying to think if I've missed anything else out. I have. Right, if the Gen 2 standard turrets, again, this is this this isn't a Gen 2. So if I go to change turret, you get the choice between all these. So these are the more the more important ones. I wouldn't worry about these ones down here. So you've got the absorption, fusion, viral, telemetry, fortification, and bracing turret. That's on the standard turret. If you go to the Gen 2 standard, uh, uh, Gen 2 turret, little turret, and change turrets, I've now got seven more options. I've got two corpus, lead storm, and special beam cannon. And then I've got two survivors, sledge, and bouncing betty. Then I've got two Sentinels with Upholder and Grav Pulse Scatter Shot. And then you've also got, which is non faction, a Farsight Generator. It doesn't belong to any faction. You don't need to keep it within the faction if that's the way you're playing your game. It's completely up to you whether you want to go full faction. The Probably the best turret I've, I've used so far is the Lead Storm, and I haven't even got it maxed. As you can see, it's not even maxed yet. I've still got. I can't show you inside me uh, defense lab because I'm upgrading it now. But yeah, this is that's basically what you need to know about the Gen 2s. Hopefully I've put it in a way where you can understand it. You've got to go over and switch them over. I'm just going to show that one more time. So you go to change platform. You, you look down there, advanced structure, and it gives you the option to swap over. And it gives you the time it takes to swap them over to a Gen 2. And it's exactly the same in a, a small turret. Change platform advanced structure and go and it'll give you the three options hopefully i've covered everything you need to know there guys um i would keep an eye out on some buildings that are going to get some more levels on them i would have thought on the first of next month december the first we're going to see two uh depending on what kicks i deploy if it's infantry i think it's going to be air so i'm going to explain the air ones first i think ne uh we're going to get a hero air jet series three on the first of december and that will probably that will give five levels to the airfield and five levels to the aircraft hangar. So keep an eye on them. And what it is is this building, the five levels will restrict you how far how how high of a level you can take the series three aircrafts. And this one, the airfield will give a repair reduction to the series three aircrafts. And I think it's series two as well. So this one's probably the more important over the two. But both are valid and you need to get them both leveled up. And then when the the Grand comes in, we've always, already had the vehicles. So you should have had these buildings upgraded. The uh, Tech Center and War Factory should be done or ne nearly done by now. But then we, after the, it's three months, about three months time, we will get 
New Infantry, and it'll be the Academy and the Barracks. Now, the Academy will restrict the levels of the units to Series 3 units, how high you can get them, and the Barracks will give a re repair reduction to the Series 3 units and Series 2, I believe. I can't get it out because once you've upgraded it to max, oh, does it tell you at the bottom? No, it doesn't. Once you upgrade it, it, it takes all that description away. I don't know if Kicks I can put that description description back to give you a fair idea. But that's something you want to keep an eye on. I believe that's going to drop on December the 1st. So be, be aware of that as well, guys. Anyway, I think I've gone through everything I need to go through. Hopefully you understand. You do need to get the advanced materials when it drops on the map. So then you can upgrade it Gen 2 platforms. Other than that, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Take care all. Bye-bye.